Welcome back, everyone, to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Ted Mocha Levin. Right now, we have the Berlin Conference in April 3rd, 1885. Whatever happens, we've got the Maxim gun, and they do not. Hilaire Belloc. Africa trembles. Oh, I hope it does. But unfortunately, things have gone awry in Africa. So, as time has went on, we had the conference in the last episode, remember? And we started voting for different sorts of things here, you know? Well, I guess this is, this is the effects of uh, what's happened. So, basically... Some of the territory is just 100% going to different um, historical countries. So, for example, obviously we have the, uh, the Congo Free State here. Of course, Belgium would have a claim on Lunda. Cuba, Lunda. That's kind of cool. Peter Williams. That's kind of nice. But, like, for example, we've lost. All, we lost the Gold Coast. We lost Volta. <sighs> All that colonizing we did for nothing. We, we, don't, we can't get man, of course. Um, so, yeah, we've lost some territory around here, which really, really sucks. And France got Djibouti, which sucks, but at least it's still in our faction. We were technically fighting the Akan tribe, but let's let time go on. Oh, we're fighting the Baal tribe. Um, okay, 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 this guy's gone. And the Akan tribe, so, um, ultimately it is what it is. So, we got some black sites here. We got Anapartisan. We got a lot of comms to go through. Who can give... Oh, Emirate of Adamawa. Um, there we go. Uh, wait, what the heck? Hold on. The Adamawa Emirate. Cancel military access. Uh, we can't do anything about that, but okay. So I just sent, I told our guys to head on over. Oh, okay, that division's almost dead. Do they want to help us out, maybe? Sure. French aggression for whatever. Just because these guys wanted to beat these guys up, so... Um, let's take a look. Wow. That strength is... That's the fastest... That's, they literally just massacred an entire enemy division. Holy crap. Um, yeah. So, basically, a lot of the territory... Oh. Where, where is Bao? I see a Khan tribe, but Bao? Well, since I'm their overlord... It's only fitting if I take it, right? Oh, it's up here. Nice. I am your overlord, so it just makes sense for us to take it, right? Of course. Unrest in the Caribbean. I don't think anyone cares about unrest in the Caribbean. We're still building the Kiel Canal, but I'm going to do my best to be able to make sure that we can just push alongside ahead as fast as possible. But we do have some comms to go through, even though this is very disappointing that we basically are forced to give up territory, even though we haven't given up this territory yet. So, Because the Brits have claims over this. Uh, we have claims on Togo. The Brits have claims on Oyo. Protesters, send the military, I don't care. I'm not even going to bother looking at that. We do have Sweet Vest Africa, so that's kind of nice. A lot of compliance. We've got some anti-partisan stuff. That's pretty good as well. Uh, but a couple comments. Someone recommends we do the United States yet next. Uh, maybe. We'll see what happens. I really don't know. Uh, it, okay, so whenever like people recommend me like campaigns and such, uh, I always think of sometimes that we'll do it. Maybe, maybe not. It just depends. I mean, to be frank with you guys, like at the time of this recording, there's a lot more support for me to actually play this, this mod, End of a New Beginning mod, more than other campaigns to a certain degree so if you guys keep you know watching like me play in this mod then you know what maybe i'll keep playing this mod then you know because this is actually at least from what i can see in terms of views and such you know as a youtuber looking for views uh yeah there's actually a lot more support for uh for this mod compared to like other mods at least at the time of this recording so hey if you guys want to see more of it all right you know maybe we'll do that as long as you know as long as we're enjoying it, because if you're not really enjoying, if you're not enjoying anything or enjoying what you're doing, is there really any point to do it? But anyways, more comments such as, and in addition to playing as the United States, we should play as Russia. Which, I, if we play this mod, I do what want to try to play as the Russian Empire Federation. I guess at this point, they shouldn't be going to war with too many people, but just enough. So, as well as the good old CSA, which I've talked about before, and someone wants me to play Austria. So we'll see. We'll see in the future, okay? We will definitely see. And are we, how are we losing up here, guys? Seventy-seven divisions, not enough. Not enough. Shishal Verka, very cool. I can't even remember what we were doing. Um, let's see. The Shishal Verka must be expanded, improved upon our naval industrial might. I guess we'll do torpedo boats. Newly invented torpedo boats are capable of dealing massive damage to other ships. We should invest in them. All right, sounds good. Anti-sub tactics, very cool. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to let time go on, though, just just because I want to keep speeding through this. 
Mobile base, because we can. Why not? Colonial administration? Oh, yeah. Can we do anything down here? Nope, it's about five years ahead of time. Non-core manpower plus 0.5%. Overseas development to develop colonial... Oh, I like that one. Develop colonial territories. So we're done with this stuff here, pretty much. Oh, native land resources. Or reserves, whatever. Um, Air stuff? What, what about over here? Yeah, there we go. Zinc, carbon battery, very cool. That's the other comments include colonize all of Asia. Well, I think the scramble for Africa only applies to Africa, unfortunately, for at least for now. I'm not sure there's any way we can get over here to this area. Maybe, maybe if we play this the Dutch, maybe? You know, maybe. Junta for the fourth or fifth time in Cape Colony. Whatever. Uh, do the Dutch have a focus tree? Uh, it looks kind of generic. Yeah, it looks kind of generic. That kind of sucks. But that's all right. That is A-OK. -okay. Australia, please, can you fix this? This is disgusting. Um, Tarnian Revolt. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Unclaimed territory. Can I have this unclaimed territory? That'd be pretty nice. Naval departments. Wow, our stability isn't very good now, is it? What happened? Oh, we're still at war. That's right. Okay, that makes sense. We can call it our allies in. It doesn't really matter. Who is this? Tobu Nomads. Uh, I thought we saw something over around here. Um. Oh, is this it? Oh, they they are up here. Okay. Good to know. Just go over there, please. Very nice. Torpedo boats after torpedo boats. We could probably go do the established relations with Mexico. Maybe we need someone friendly to, uh, to us on the American continent, so it could pay off to improve relations with the Mexicans. We love Mexicans. We love, love, love them. Other comments include. Uh, apparently, there's a mob that, that is out there for the end of the new new beginning to let us rename our factions. Well, that's not bad, maybe. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool if we could do that. And I went with first battle. I'm not sure if. Oh, hey, we got him. Nice. Uh, because of the board gore, we'll just give it back to these guys. There you go. So I guess we'll do doctrine machine delegated command. Just because I wasn't sure what to do here, because it doesn't say anything like grand battle, asymmetric warfare. And colonial forces kind of reminds me of old world blue stuff, but effect, 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 effect. I wasn't exactly sure which one we should have done, so I just chose the first to battle. I don't know, machine supremacy, the skirmisher. So I don't think it really will affect us that much, but we'll see what happens, of course. Anything else here? Not really. Complete industrialization. Oh yeah, our industry needs to move forward for more efficient methods of production. Yes, I'm not sure what that does, but I'd like to go to the oil era. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, it's paused. Whoops. Yeah, I better not leave it paused. At all. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's how you do that. Let's see. Name factions. Colonize. All of Asia. We can't do that. Someone was disappointed that maybe Russia cannot colonize. Well, technically, they did colonize Siberia. So, you have that, I guess. They might be able to get the Sakhalin Islands. Or Island. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. And let's do Mexico. Because why not? Probably followed up with GD German Treaty German Korean Treaty of 1883. A treaty with Korea could help us open the doors to politics in Asia. Not bad. Ger military assistance in China. Huh. We own a we own a trade port. We'll provide military assistance and intervention in the Chinese region, as well as maybe the German Persian Treaty. We will make a treaty with Persia. I'm not sure this does anything. Do we, do we have a treaty down here? Do we have Qingdao or Xiao Ao? Is that is that? I guess probably the more authentic way of saying it. Lushun? Led, led by. Uh, oh! That's because we own Hong Kong because of the war with the UK. I took that off of them. Just because the UK were pieces of garbage to us. But okay, yeah. Confucianism? Catholicism, Taiping, Christianity, Secularism, Mahayan, Buddhism, Confucianism. Is there a way to convert, like, culture and, like, religion? Oh, look, English. 3,000. Wow. Wow, look at our... Our resistance leaders, look at that. Holy crud, they're working hard and fast. Woo, they go fast down there, just rooting out resistance. And we're still putting up a lot of <laughs> farms, but not nearly enough. Um, civilian industry, just keep building more. I'm not sure what else we're really supposed to build here. So, yeah. I, I want to max out the roads, I really do. Pulsen should be ours. Doesn't really matter too much else for this stuff, I guess. Um, Yeah. I want to build a lot of roads. Lots and lots of roads. And just in case, I'll build stuff in France too, just because, like, this way, we can be connected very quickly around the entire French nation. So that'd be kind of nice, I think. There you go. And then we'll do the inside of France, just so we can lower their autonomy. 
At this point, I'm not really sure there's much left in the mod. I'm going to try to get through as many focuses as possible. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Okay, so someone asks, can we make Middle Africa? Well, with the way the game is kind of railroaded, kind of like HFM. Uh, look at that. Look how big France has gotten. This is really disgusting. And UK? Wait, what? The Ashanti tribe was here. What? Well, hold on. Yep, that would do it to them. They're going to have no manpower, and they're going to get more resistance. Why do you take it if you have no manpower? So they took all of what was pretty much known as Nigeria. They ha they took this area, too, in Ghana. Um, way more passive defense, thank you. Unrest in the Caribbeans, like we've said before, no one cares about the Caribbeans. Um, yeah, it feels very railroaded. I guess we do this one next, that's fine. The dual alliance, huh? Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. I kind of just want to kill them, but that's okay. Hey, we love Mexico. Anything else? Oh, the Kingdom of Portugal took all this stuff. But we did take this so far, Zaire. Even though the Kingdom of Portugal might want to claim that eventually. Mostly Catholic. Congo. Portuguese. What is Portuguese? What the heck? Do we have Germans down here at least? Maybe a few Germans? Mm-mm. Hold on. Oh, crud. Do we not have garrisons down there? No, we should. If that's a case. This is up in prototypes. Cool. So let's go ahead. I know I said I wouldn't pause it, but eh, it's all right. Yeah, less consumer goods is good. Go ahead and do that first. We can build some stuff over there. Although we don't, we don't get attacked too much here, because we can throw just like one or two divisions around here. Yeah, go ahead and head on, head on up. More passive defense is very nice. What's the next research done? About three weeks? It's not bad. Three and then four weeks or so. Land is pretty good. Benefiting from the land valve system. Come on, Bayushin land. So, Portugal, the Gaza Empire. We still own this area. That's good. Not too much else has really happened. Uh, we still got a man. Mon. Oh, France, please don't tell me you're out of manpower. Please. I'm not going to... Oh, you're, oh, my goodness. I'm not going to garrison your areas that you cannot govern yourself. So... Do not expect me to bail you out if you have no manpower. How dare you. Oh, there they go. Well, would you look at that. And, oh, hold on. Look at their strength. Oh, still 100. Oh, no, that's us. Wait, what's going on? Alright, nice job, guys. Nice job. And then power station ones, sure. Doctrine stuff. Uh oh, there's something over here. Adaptable command, machine command, doctrine machine mechanical transportation. Why not? You know, why not? Like the Pokemon. Passive defense, sure, why not? Do you have an upgrade? Door General von Kirkbach. And von uh Wittenberg, uh von Thunsecki. Yes. 100% yes. Horse is looking pretty good. You guys are looking pretty good. And we have 145,000 manpower, which we've grown quite a few because of all the farms that we built. Now the comments include... Da -da 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 -da. Can we make Middle Africa? I don't think we can. Let's see. Oh, and I asked if there's a way for us to see if there was... A way for us to see for international identity whether we could like see the demographics of our nation. Well, the speech, I don't think anyone cares right now. But you can go right ahead. Oh, yes, France. Yes, you know, come to your world's fair. So, oh, 1886. Let's see, national identity. Oh, would you look at that? Subculture, population, percentage. I think it's going by percentages. Edo, Ashkenazi. So everyone is like halfway. So out of every two people, one of them is ready to, un you know, rebel. And has a lot of unrest, which is, a, when you look at this, it's a little worrying. <laughs> That's a little worrying. Uh, more half of the population literally wants to rebel. Um, hmm. Rhenish is good. Brandenburg, po po Polish. Oh no. Culture. Ooh. German, German, German. There's not enough German here. Jewish. Volga, Niger. Chinese and Cantonese. We have some Frenchies here too. Transylvanians, w Walloons. We have. Oh, we have Canadian. That's just because. How do we close this? There we go. 
because I, I forgot to give this back to Canada too. But I figured, if we took this off the French, I'm not giving it back. St. Pierre and something else. And they're 100% Catholic. There's only 4,000 people that live there, so... Everyone knows each other very, very well down there. Which is fine. Whatever. Next technology will be done in quite a, like 10 weeks, so... Let's just take a look at the crew tribe. Crew, very cool. And take a look at religion. So, only 37.3% of our population is Protestant. Less than 30% of our nation is Catholic. Animism is pretty high. Orthodoxy is pretty high. Well, not pretty high. It's pretty low, actually. 1.7% of our population is Jewish. 0.5% believe in Judaism, Sunni, Sunni Muslims, or Sunni Islam. 0.4% as you can see, Shia Islam, Abadi Islam, Coptic, Taipei Christianity. We gotta pu push these numbers up higher and higher. It doesn't help that you colonize more and more and more, but... Hmm. I think there's a dub on this one. It's kind of nice. But it's cool that we can see the demographics like this. But after this here treaty, we're going to do the military assistance in China. And maybe we'll eventually fight the Social Democrats, because we could... Oh! We need to fight them, but uh, National Stupidity is looking pretty good. Should make the change of minus point one. Oh, the Mataram, Mata huh? Alright, cool. So yeah, those are the two ways for us to check our demographics. So that's kind of nice. Oh, someone's exploded? Maybe. Oh, would you look at that? It's still going up. 71.5. How's it going up so that much? Look at this. Machine era. Resistance circuits minus 20%. Oil era. It lasts from around 1902 to 1918. Huh. Victorian era is from 1857 until 1883. Pre-industrial. Hmm. That's different. And this is industrialized. Okay, so we went from industrializing, which hurts our construction speed. But we got, when we get to industrialize, we got plus 25% construction speed for dockyards and output, or factories, I should say. We get more fuel from refineries. We got 1% more research speed. Um, we lost 5% consumer goods, though. We went from point, minus 0 0.05 legislative power to basically getting losing none. We got more recovery rate. Max factories and it goes down by 10%, which is not good. But this one has minus 25%, so basically we got a buff of plus 15% to max factories in the state, which I love, 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 love. And I love roads. I have a problem with roads, I'll be honest. As you can tell, I have, I have a big problem with roads, so I love them too much. Roads are fun. Now, hopefully nothing else gets split up around here. Afghanistan is still looking a little too thick for my liking. Um, and Togo Gawa Shogunats are still looking pretty good. A lot of puppets. Do they even eat Pocus Tree? Oh my goodness, Japan does. I can't imagine there's a lot to do down here, to be honest honest with you, but... Maybe someday. Maybe we'll play as them. I don't know. I I think on the GitHub is when you can see, like, what they're really working on. Like, the short little things that they're working on. Because th when this mod does not update very often. I, it's, it's, <laughs> it's slowly gets updated on Steam, but it, it takes a long time, as far as what I can tell, to get updated on Steam. So, eh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, like... In the future, what this mod will have to hold for us, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. What are we doing? Oh, the Kyo Canal is right. All right, so we're already almost do that. And at least second time here, the Cape Colony. I mean, they just keep having military juntas after military juntas. That's not very good. Not a very stable nation down there. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Medium scale railways, British colony. As well as detrimental colonial impact. There's no such thing as too much of a colonial impact. No such thing. If anything, you should do it more. Anyways. Well, let's go with European policy. Our policy in Europe is one of the utmost priority. As we must establish ourselves as one of the great powers. I don't think that we really need to do that any anyways. I mean, we'd have France as our puppet. We have the Russian Federation as our puppet. We have the entire entirety of the Ottoman Empire as our puppet. And we have Serbia interfaction and Romania. Um, like, bruh, I think we're doing relatively okay in terms of being a great power here. Maybe that's just me. But, let's see, we have Romania, Serbia, all the Ottoman Empire, the entire Russian Empire, including the Baku oil fields. We have Afghanistan, and little splotches down in Central Asia. Of course, we said France already. So, and... and Sizable chunk of Africa, not all of Africa, which is disappointing, but um, we this is, really, this is actually really incredibly disgusting if you look at the faction map. But you can go from all the way down here, go up through the almost cut off by the lake, and get to Kanem, Kanem, Karem, to to Birni, all the way over here. So not bad. Oh, 
And I guess South African Coalition, huh? Mobile base is next. Cool. So the only factory construction speed? Why not? Very cool. Roads, 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 roads. We only have 180,000 manpower. It's not enough. So overall, I think we've been pretty darn successful. Is there anything else here? Discern or here? No, we could probably close that. Economic decisions. Look, you know what? We have so much political power. Why not? Get slightly more stability. It's going to mean nothing, though. Organizing in somewhere. Yeah, you better not organize, you pieces of garbage. Or I will literally send in the military guns blazing to remove you all. Yeah, cool. So I'm, I'm just kind of waiting to see if there's anything else we could do down here. Or if, like, parts of the Ottoman Empire are going to be split up eventually. Saloniki? Saloniki? Hmm. Or when, when does the Pope go join the rest of Italy? Or even Vatican City? Would you look at that? Now, Central Italian. That's kind of nice. Egypt looking pretty long. Congo Free State. They don't need hands. Gotta hand it to them. What is this? The UK Lake. Okay. Wadao Tribe. Okay. Oh, yeah. We definitely need... Oh, there's so many resources down in Africa. Why can't we just exploit Africa in real life? Oh, wait, we probably already tried that. Then again, I don't know. Maybe we should stop talking. Hmm. At least about that stuff. Look at all these islands we've got. Oh, it's taking them off of the uh, UK. Can we make ambition to Vietnam? Can we make him? Oh. So many roads to build, so little time. Ah, yeah, and Ottoman Puppet too. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess we could have the Gaza Strip. Is that the G word that people don't like to say in the beginning of YouTube videos? Um, we're far enough away from the beginning of the YouTube video that it doesn't even matter. If you mention things like Gaza Strip, Israel, does that get a... Nah, that probably doesn't get a flag. Mm, I don't know. My, as I'm recording this, my mind is kind of just slowly going loopy, so... It's okay. Oh, European policy's done. Great. Let's isolate France. Isolating France will strengthen our power. I don't know if we really want to do that. I'll be honest, man. They're our puppet, so we could probably just raise relations anyways, but... Still, you know... Oh, God. Russia. You need to develop yourself, Russia. Oh, we already are developing them, so... No Russian Civil War here. No, 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 no. Fake news. That's not wanted here at all. At this point, I might as well try to invest more in my uh, construction efforts. We have enough PP to do it, so... Oh, yeah, in Finland. I forgot about Finland. We released them as a puppet. As we should. We only have 200,000 manpower. Almost. But the way I we play this mod... Oh man, I just I butcher so many guys. You can tell I butcher so many guys. Then again, if we keep doing this and lowering their autonomy, then uh yeah, we could probably just integrate them. That wouldn't be too bad actually. We got these islands. Very nice, very nice. And the good old US of A. Alright, not bad. Russia's going to be very, very well developed someday. And I guess the uh, Ottomans are next. Because what else are we going to spend our, you know, industrial power on? It's not like we can lower our civilian or military spending so we can make more money or you stop spending so much money. Oh, germ theory. Nice. Um, let's pause it real quick. I know I said I wouldn't do that, but. Yeah, we're doing everything we can there. Mechanical engineering. Um, construction speed would not be bad. Max factories in the state, though. I, I like that one too much. And let time go on. That is still 1886, so not too bad. Not processing anything in the background, so we're going as fast as we possibly can right now. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm trying to build roads at the same time I'm lagging the game with every single click. And Malta. Man. So much potential here. Yeah, I really want to be able to convert, like, cultures, change religions and stuff, like, slowly through the peoples, you know. I should play EU, EU4 sometime, but I don't know. That game is a little hard to, like, make recordings over. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, we own Joe Browser. Yeah, we own the rock. Oh, God. France. 
and her African colonies. Disgusting. They might actually lose these because they probably have no more manpower still. Look at all this. There's just not so many states here. Up to Gabon, very nice. Very nice, look at that. A lot of things will have to be built, but that's all right. And I do apologize for clicking, I need to get a softer mouse. Or a non-click mouse, maybe that. Do they make those? I'm sure they make those. Cool. Oh, do we own this? No, we don't. That's good. Uh, I'll hop it over here. Yes. Do we own Bermuda, too? Yeah, France does not deserve too many overseas colonies after they try to fight us. Disgusting. Oh, we own this, too. I forgot about this. Oh, and this is why they want to keep rebelling. Man, we're going to have so many bloody incidents down here. It's not even going to be funny. Oh, Bermuda. Can we spy on the Americans because of these ships? Or because of our distance here? Well, I think... The German industry is going to have a lot to focus on in the next couple decades. But in the meantime, how about some more uh, consumer goods? I don't care if we're going to run out of space here. It doesn't really matter to me. We'll get some more space later on. Uh, do we build up everything over here? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, we have. Yes, yes. Cool. And we're still isolating France, which is nice. We've got some gram stain, but no germ stains. Gram stains. Process engineering. Survey says, resource efficiency gain. Actually, I say France. Delegation of Rome might not be bad. Oh, they need to own Rome and triple alliance. The Kissingen dictation. World tension would go down a little bit. Mission Radovitz, the three emperors. Yeah, Mission Radovitz. A mission to Russia to, will help stabilize and improve our relations with our biggest neighbor. One of our best neighbors, especially after we are basically, we rule, we're ruling over them. So, I think that'd be for the best. Alright, we got some Transformers, Robots in Disguise. So we're all done with that radioactive stuff. Ooh, I kind of like that stuff. Let's see. Process Engineering, Oil Extraction. Let's extract some of that yummy, yummy oil. Nice. Oh, uh, we have to repair relations with the Austrians? Oh, that's not cool. I just want to kill them off. Yeah, I, I wish there was a way we could just get go to war with everyone, but we already own Cyprus, too. Look at that. Huh. Oh, I want to colonize. I want to throw my... Population everywhere. Oh, man. I think it's like in Victoria, too. Like, the way to, like, get your people to go other places or something like that. Was well, you build up a really profitable factory or you subsidize it, get a lot of workers of a certain culture group or something like that, and then you destroy the factory or close it down, forcing people to leave a province, and then they will be sent somewhere else or something like that. So, I think that's how people do it. At least that's what I think I've heard. I need to play more Vicky 2, but it takes so long to, pl to play. Like this mod, really. It's either this mod or Vicky 2, so. So at least they haven't taken everything. Which is weird. I mean, they would take a lot, but they haven't taken everything back, which makes no sense. Are we still getting compliance here? They were... No. Just... You got a gun. You know what to do with these people. Hey, look. Very nice. And we still have a lot of subjects. Uh, a lot of subjects. Pierre, Pierre Noir, Republic, Colonial Company. Huh. Actually, can we lower their autonomy too? Oh, we can't. That sucks. Uh, we lowered relations with the French, right? It's not gonna like us. Oh, we can. Can we improve relations? There, we can. Cool. Anything else down here? You can buy ships. I don't feel like buying ships though. Ah, uh, this might not be too bad. Oh, let's go and do that one other thing since we have enough PP for it. Call an election. Reduce to be the seats in Parliament. This is a risky political action, but it can be useful to use to benefit from a particularly good but probably ephemeral political climate. Landtag. Reform. Oh, gro oh, look at that growth policies. Encouraged and oh, <laughs> enforced. Oh man, don't sign us up. Hmm. Construction speed, look at that, nice. Actually, when is it, before we choose to do anything else here, uh, we've got quite a few weeks left for that. we got about literally two weeks for that one, so let's go back over here. And, what can we do? Tax rates? Trade laws? 
Uh, freedom of the press, maybe. Just going for uh, naval infrastructure. Well maintained. Now let's pause. Now we actually do have to pause it for realsies. And what can we do here? Forty. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think we're going to be approved. Only one point four percent from some centrists. What's so centrist about not supporting an infrastructure budget act of eighteen eighty six? And traditional conservatives, come on, man. They're pretty simple. You know what? Screw it. Meet the centrists. We'll try that one. And the three emperors. We'll make state visits to other great emperors of Europe. Cool. Come on. 4%. We have 47 votes. Come on, we can do this, right? We can do this. 40? Oh my gosh. Uh, meet traditional conservatives. Uh, usually, what someone recommended was make just make a speak, speech of parliament. So we're at forty nine and twenty five point four percent. So we're obviously not going to be able to pass this. But forty nine, forty nine, forty nine jumps up to. Oh my goodness, this sucks. Oh, we're going to host a world fair though. Find compromises. Um. Silence out opponents. Just make another speech. Whatever. Hold it. World's fair. We'll hold a world fair in Berlin. This will cost a significant amount of PP and money, but rewards with international recognition and prestige. The necessary paperwork has been filed out, and the whole city is now ready to take on the task to prepare for the upcoming world fair. For the next five months, we will make we will make the necessary decisions in order to make the world fair as successful as possible. Very nice. Review the budget and Inv invite participants. Yes, sixty-seven. God dang it. Whatever. We got enough PP. Prepare for the World's Fair, and by the participants, yes. I review the main buildings. Well, that sucks. Designing the main buildings. An important part of our World Fair is designing the main buildings in an adequate fashion. We can always use the focus on style and hire the top architects in order to impress the visitors, or alternatively, we can focus on using the newest tech and construction materials to impress the world with our industrial achievements. Lastly, if we have a lot of money and resources, we can opt to make the ventures as lavish as possible, though the aesthetic and technological values of this may be questionable. Big and as luxurious as possible, review the budget. In order to successfully host the World Fair, we must decide on an appropriate budget. The higher the budget, the more we will impress foreign visitors and improve the prestige of our country. But we should make sure not to over ruin ourselves, or not to ruin ourselves with spending more than we can can. And possibly going into debt. Spare no expenses. We want to do as much as possible. Preparations are complete. The planning, designing, construction phases of the World Fair and its venues are now over, and the time has come to inaugurate the World Fair to the wider world. Let the fair begin. 1887 World's Fair. Hey, at least we didn't have to invite, or we, at least we didn't get invited, and we invited other people to our World's Fair. Of particular interest will, will be the British Pavilion, featuring the latest achievements in the fields of industry, technology, and the arts. Oh, that is good again. And even East Asian exhibitions put up by the Netherlands. Oh, look at that. Surely be remembered as one of the better World's Fairs today. You bet your German booty it's going to be one of the nicest in the world. We spent a lot of money. We we whipped a lot of people down in Africa for this. Oh, I don't know if I can say that, oh, but I just did whatever. All right, so we got about three to four weeks left for this stuff. The three emperors was nice and all, but the, probably the kissing and dictation. So we want to finish this side as much as possible. Then maybe we finish this side. Uh, we still can't do this because we're not considered a major power, despite us having 1571 current colonial power out of a max of 2772. So yeah, I don't understand that colonial Schutztruppen? Recruit colonial infantry into your colonies is not fully done. Oh man. Um, kissing and dictation, huh? We will enact a political manifesto written by Bismarck himself against a socialist menace. Down with socialism! World's Fair concluded. After a whole month run, the World's Fair has been concluded. Now, begins the process of repurposing the exhibition venues. The fair was a success, certainly one of the better ones seen so far, and this will reinforce our international standing and our credibility. Hopefully in the future we will be able to rehost the fair and surpass the present success. Next time we'll do better. Um, we got a lot of industrial projection. Military projection prestige. Drilling rigs, sign us up. Noble gases, we love them noble gas arenos. Get some more construction. 10% buyer process, 10% more construction speed. Holy smoky daddies. I don't know dad who which daddies are smoky, but wow. Uh, since we're here, go ahead and train the ships that we got. He's really good on, you know, fleet speed and positioning. Wow. That's a pretty nice batch. That ain't too shabby if I do say so myself. So we lost the political power. A lot of political power, but that's okay. We did it once, and I don't ever have to do that one again. Actually, at this point, why don't we just take... We, we're in the war against France. Why don't we take over the Suez Canal? Can we? Can we do that? I don't think we can. Oh, 
Oh, what is this? Resistance occupation? Why is it so high? Warsaw and Gali? I mean, they're a bunch of Somalis, don't get me wrong. Actually, if the Italians want that, can I just give this to the Italians? Aro. Actually, maybe just liberate these. Uh, let's see. Iga. Maybe Kingdom of Italy? No. I'm not seeing too much here. Poland? Our heir found dead. German Empire is still in shock after news spread this morning of our heir was found dead. We do not know what Godwin would have might have been an assassin and sudden illness or simply old age. But the succession of our country is once again in shaky hands. Our nation mourns. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, machine military rail laying. Cool. Uh, yeah, I guess the Sultanate, we can do that. And that's fine with me, just so that they stop being little pansies down there. Hey, there you go. We couldn't give it to, uh, Italy, so... Return territory, nope. Return territory, nope. Mm, it's not what I wanted, really, but... They're led by some dude, Shakir Kainanchi. Oh, look at all this stuff. Pre-industrial army. Peaceful... I well, I don't know if it's really a peaceful isolation. I'll be honest there. I mean, with us there, we were colonizing it for a while. Um, I wouldn't say it's too peaceful down there, but I could be very, very wrong about that. What else does this group have? Botswana raiding party detected. We must prepare for an impending raid on our borders with them. Botswana is down here. I don't really give a crap about them, I'll be honest. I'm sorry, man. Kissing gin dictation. Repair relations with Austria. We need to repair relations with Austria. We cannot have a disgruntled neighbor forever. No, we cannot. Oh, what's wrong with these people down here? Why is supply so bad? Local infrastructure. Incoming infrastructure. I know this is not going to help out, but whatever. We have too many divisions around here, too. Um, yeah, well, we'll probably not have to make any more divisions, then. Let's give that some medium. i make that high for now. Why not? Is there anywhere else we could put this? Anywhere else, maybe? No? Um, ah, we're more close up here. We can come back up here, yeah. Come back up to Europe. It's probably nicer up here anyways. 39. Spread. Share the wealth. Around, around, around. Oh. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Hopefully they don't actually seize and steal it from us. This sucks. It takes so long to get up there. Come on. Come on, there's only 19 divisions. There's only 19 divisions. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we got there. Okay, bomb button bug. Oh, we're just massacre. Oh my gosh, look at that. Six, five, three. Oh, Jesus. Please, can we do that again? I just want to massacre the Africans. Can I say that? I, I can, and I'm going to continue saying that. <laughs> Probably until it get cancelled. But whatever. Until Susan Wojcicki says no, we're going to roll with it. Cool. You never know when Susan Wojcicki is going to say that. But whatever. Um, Romania. Still doing the Romanian things. Anything else here yet? Oh, we got literally about two weeks left for that, so that's not too bad. So then maybe we'll do the dual alliance. That'd be kind of fun, right? So, we will propose an alliance to Austria-Hungary, which would, you know, honestly, if we had an I mean, at this point, one, two, three, four-ish, four, -ish, four -ish, maybe three and a half major nations with some other minor states as well, all in one alliance, you throw an Austria-Hungary in there, I mean, there's no one on the continent of Europe who could stop us at that point. Even if the Italians and Spanish and the UK teamed up, that still would not be enough to beat us up. Maybe you got Qing China with them, but Qing China's... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Dual Alliance. Yes, please. I don't remember. What year did uh, Rome or the Papal States join Italy proper? Oh, San Mar Why does this San Marino exist? Look at that. Is that a unicorn? Tuscan. Central Italian and Tuscan, huh? That's kind of cool. The Dual Alliance. After that delegation to Rome, we'll send a delegation to Rome in hopes of improving relations with Italy. And the Triple Alliance. We'll form an alliance to increase our standing in Europe. It'll be composed of the old Dual Pacto in Italy. Well, we'll see how long they hold that one up. So, other than that, we can't do the right side for some reason, which is fine. Uh, we did a lot of this already, which we still need to finish. We still need to come down here. But I think there has to be, like, an economic depression or something first. Yeah, there has to be some sort of crisis. 
Uh, from here on, this branch isn't finished and lacking a lot of content, and we still gotta finish the Land Doctrine, so maybe this will be one more episode after this, maybe. I don't know, we'll see what happens, so. We'll fight the Social Democrats next, just because we don't like Social Democrats when we're, when we're traditional conservatives. Conservatives. Regrettable. Whatever. The Social Democrats pose a way... Oppose a threat to our way of life, so we must ensure their dangerous ideas do not take hold in a great country. Less social. Oh, I thought it was five percent, but ten percent social egalitarianism support goes down. More legislative powers, not bad. Oh, we got five days, four days. Noble gases. Output's pretty good. Oh, we can get aluminum. Industrial fuel silos. We'll probably go with industrial ironworks though. Bio process. Oil storage. So, what is this? Combined arms? That'd be kind of nice. We need more army XP eventually, though. Okay, so the next ones that we have left are impulse steel turbines. Uh, we can't do that one. We can't do this stuff. So, we got one left here for the mechanical engineering. Is this what it is? Process? No, yeah, mechanical engineering. And this is process engineering. We have one left here as well, because we can't do this one yet. We have biochemistry all done for, like, probably two years. Or maybe, really, until 1890. Electronical, electronic instruments and stuff are pretty much finished as well. Aviation is done for quite a while as well. This stuff is all done, and I'm saying this right now, but I'm not going to remember it in a few seconds, so. Oh, and that's, ooh. Oh, that's going to take a while to do. How do we do that? We need polyphase alternators? A oh, population boom in Germany. The German Empire has been encouraging population growth within its borders for some time recently, and it looks like the current situations in our country, combined with the fact that we encourage population growth, has finally led to something happening. We've entered a period of rapid population growth. Love it. Awesome, 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 awesome. There you go. So we're done with that. Let's come over here. And then we'll be doing some of this. Cool. Our pro proposition of a dual alliance has been accepted by the Austro-Hungarians. This strengthens our position in Central Europe quite a bit. I love this postcard. It's so cool. Oh, we create our own faction. Oh, that's going to screw everything up, isn't it? Fight the Social Democrats, though. So faction-wise... Wait, Russian... What? What? Oh, no. That made two factions of... Oh, now it's what we call the Dual Alliance. Uh... <laughs> the Romanians and the Afghani peoples are in the same faction because we... Everyone else is like my puppet. Literally everyone else is my puppet. So, I took all my puppets with us and... Serbia just left. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, it's a Balkan alliance. Serbia, Montenegro, Greece, and Wallachia for the purpose of defeating the Ottomans and freeing their people from the rule. Legacy of the Serbians' uprisings. I mean, hey man. Please rise up. Please rise up. We would love it if you would try to rise up. Please, we just want to have a little bit of conflict in our lives so we can feel good about ourselves, don't we? We're doing well finding social democrats. Are there any other policies that we want here that we could probably do? Because it's almost 1888. Limited elections. Yeah, yeah, no, wait. Political advisory cost. Um, cultural stuff, secular state, free press, non-socialist, open schools. Compulsory education. You know what, maybe we'll try to go for compulsory educations. Hertz, it gives us slightly more uh, PP. It gives us hopefully 6% more construction speed. It hurts our consumer goods factories, but we're already doing so well with that stuff. So that's under cultural stuff as well. We're probably going to get shot down. Edumacation. It's about in a month. Now we actually do have to pause it. And we already have the vote. Make a speech in Parliament. The traditional conservatives are like, eh, it's not that important. But centrists love education. The Mandatory School Act. You're going to go to school whether you like it or not. That's up next. Nothing yet here yet. Keep spending our PP for now. Same, oh, the centrists love it. Even the traditional conservatives are getting on board. But let's keep going with this, shall we? The laws, the law of 1878. What does that mean? We will enact a few laws stopping the spread of socialism in the German Empire. Oh, nice. While for 10 years social egalitarian support goes down. Nice. All right, so we don't need to do this anymore. I won't save our PP, but over half of all traditional conservatives like what we're doing. What happened to our stability? Why did it go down so much? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not good. But it's not going to go down anymore for now, which is good. 
Uh, how's our air? Do we have do we have an air? Look, oh, we should do that. The German Empire has been now the strong successor for too long, and the people are getting worried. We should look for an heir. German Empire is in need of an heir. There are enough noblemen and claimants to pick from, but now how carefully should we screen to find our next heir? Let us lower our expectations. Make sure we have the, our heir is valid. Let us... Nice, we won. Let us be careful. Yes. Be careful with who our heir will be. We only have a third of a million manpower, so I think we need more. I wonder if we could break the number. And we are an agrarian economy, so... Much to the chagrin of some of you guys, which I know some of you didn't want it, but some of you guys did want it to go that way, so it is what it is. Like I said, I said I would remember, but I said I wouldn't remember, and I'm being honest here. I don't remember what which one we need to do next. So it looks like all this stuff is done for now. If we miss something, so be let's go back to the army doctrine stop and grab combined arms. Plus two percent division organization. Ah, I can't click it. Ah. Sorry. Sorry, I have a little outburst sometimes. Not really, no, but it just gets me so emotional clicking through buttons. Oh, 400 days left. Yay, we got it. Guess it's time to build more civvies. Because eventually we're going to run out of places to build here then. Hmm. Only, dude, we just got 5,000 more manpower. Holy crud. So 1795 out of 2852. How are we not considered the major power colonizing Africa? Please. Oh, sure. Sure, France. Well, come. Yeah. And they invested a medium, mediocre amount of money and resources in putting out this world fair. And while it's not one to be remembered in time, it is merely a reflection of the current state of the country. <laughs> oh my goodness. And against America, like when you lost against the CSA, the good old CSA, God, that flag is, in, in, can, some might say it's inspirational. But where the heck is John Wilson? God, I wish I could grow facial hair like that. But uh, Abraham Lincoln. Wait, how are you? I guess you're still president? You were elected in 61. I guess you're still finishing up your elections. And you didn't win the war, so you're not radical Republicans. You're just moderate Republicans, I guess. You have progressive Republicans, Democrats, you've got prohib prohibitionists, know-nothings, anarchist groups, 10%. And here, you got the Whigs, which are pretty unified, and some centrists, some peripheral. You have some social egalitarian, and then you have some Dixie Arist... Oh, oh my goodness. You've got my attention with the Dixie Aristocracy. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yep, wrong one. Clicked on the wrong one. Cool. So we got all that stuff done. Can't do any more army doctrine. Uh, or, yeah, the army doctrine is done for now. Good. And then we'll do some court cases. We will take the most vehement and dangerous socialist activists to court so they may not endanger our society. Never again. Which we get 100 more PP, which we don't need. And even further, minus 2% of social egalitarian support. We really don't like them here. That's going down by 0 0.02. Wow, we are really killing them off. Centrist support is going probably up. We have 84.76%. Wow. Uh, how's flight? Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done with flight. Okay. Flight technology? Zeppelins, yes. Strate strategic bombing, yes, please. Actually, what does that do? Um, 1885. Do we have any ground attack? Air attack? That's not bad. That's kind of cool. I love Zeppelins. Religious affairs, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Honors in the Caribbean Islands, no one gives a crap. Yeah, less than 350 days, that's pretty nice. Not bad. Court cases. So after that one... Verdun, huh? Verdun, not Verdun, but Verdun. So yeah, we're done with this side. I don't think this is going to unlock, which is really disappointing, but we'll establish a colonial society to hopefully claim some overseas territories for ourselves. <sighs> oh, the Philippines? Half Herald process, huh? Nice. Well, we're done with that. Flight technology is coming along. Let's go back over here. It is 1888. Is there any... Oh, yeah, the robust. More soft attack. Re reduce recoil. Ah, I love that modifier in Call of Duty. Then again, you still lose a whole bunch, but whatever. <laughs> mm, only 94 million. Come on. we got to have more babies. Actually... Oh, we still have advisors. Oh, we have more advisors? Some of the guys left us. Okay. No wonder this is still going up. This is still going up. 0 0.4? 0 0.04? Operatives, friend of capitalism, daily centrism support. Meh. Daily uh, Legislative power gain plus 0 0.01. Legislative power gain plus 3%. Can't we just have one number there? War veteran. Po oh, population boom. How much daily judicial conservative support can we get? And more legislative power gain. It's not bad. 
Centrism, that's more political power and construction speed. National liberal, more legislative power. This guy gives you more daily centrism support. Uh, legislative power gain and war support. I like that 7%. Maltese August von Bettmann Holweg. Yes. How much can we maximize this out? Liberal Rhinelander. Centrisms. Bigger artillery guns. More artillery guns. Yes, this is the way. Accept company partnership. Wait, what? Has timidly accepted the negotiation, hesitant that we may betray the agreements. For now, for though, now for now, though for now, our Volmer trading company can begin operating within some place. Excellent, we'll establish a branch. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll send it to Okay, yeah. Sign us all. Let's do it again. Court cases. We'll send them packing. And I guess we'll do convoys for trade. We need more convoys for empire. Very cool. It is a gentleman, eh? More war sport. Even more political power gain? Well, it's either one of these two. Do we want more war sport and less training time? Or more PP and improved regulations costs? I think that's the one I want to go with, so. Now, since we've done that, we currently get 1.22 every day, which is not that much. But this is going up by 0 0.03. After the effects are scaled back already to 14%, so. We're beating out the centrists. We find centrists in the street and we just beat the crap out of them. We find the collective socialists and we just beat the snot out of them as much as possible, apparently. Wow. Um. Yeah, keep building up roads. I love roads. 50%. Very nice. 10%. Oh, that's so sucky. Who needs dockyards when you have civvies? Never enough construction. Cool. Four days left, smooth bore guns. We might as well research everything that we can, because why not? Siege artillery looks kind of fun. A heavy cannon to be used in sieges? I guess that's what they call it, siege artillery, you know? I guess really the next major war. I guess technically there should be like a Moroccan crisis, maybe eventually, but France is already our puppets, so I'm not sure about that. And uh, let's see, we're going down by point one. Yeah, point one every week. Yeah. There's not much left, but I would like to finish off the focus tree eventually, though. But, Wars and Gelly, not bad. Hmm. I guess we could order a ship. We don't like the British, but we don't mind the French, maybe a little bit. We could try that. And a military junta in Cape Colony, okay. I don't think it's very historical when they've had, like, ten, uh, you know, governments in the past ten years, so... But at this point, we almost have a, less than a thousand of the max. A little more than a thousand left for colonial power. I mean, my goodness. That's ins insane. 380,000 is not enough, obviously, but almost two weeks left for that. Not bad, not bad. And then armored frigates. Armored frigates are capable of withstanding a lot of bombardment by enemy ships. Amen. Amen, yes, please. Hopefully we can get down here, too. The crisis ends. The Golden Era? Let's really move on to the next political era. The next focus tree unlocked. This is not done yet, and as of now, this is the end of the German focus trees, which we'll get there hopefully in the next episode. Well, I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm trying to push on as fast as we possibly can. And it's weird, we have not had any, any sort of colonial crisis for quite a while yet. Convoys for trade's not bad. Followed up with what? Well, maybe she gets some better health care. Look at that. Low health care? No, 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 no. We need more babies. We will force them to have babies? Uh, let's not go there. But, uh, population growth. Where is it? Political parties, uh, property, child labor. Oh, I love child labor. Is it restricted? Do we want to legalize it? Maybe we do. Uh, let's go with maybe illegal first. Uh, make a speech of parliament. Declines. Oh, that sucks. Someone's declined our negotiation and explained that it's far too common for Westerners to lie and betray their agreements. Thus, they've refused to allow our company branch to operate within some place. It's only a minor setback. Well, I don't really care. Then studded shells. Very nice. 1870 field guns. I could do army doctrine stuff or army stuff, but whatever. Streamline bolt action. I love bolt action rifles. Nice. And I'll do it maybe a few more times. The centrists don't care for this. The centrists love or approve of child labor. The No Child and Factory Act of 1888. The traditional conservatives, they like making sure that children are not working in the factories. 149 is good enough, so.
Cool. And look, less than 200 days for the kill. Oh, canal section. Think of it. Think of my bob. Nice. You have here first. Centrist. Oh, so, oh, what the heck is Son? Uh, there you go. Head on down there, I guess. Arm armored Frigarinos. Technically, they are in our lines, right? So, that is... Hey, hey, there you go. No more job labor. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, I literally don't think there's anyone else who could, uh... Kill us off in Europe now with Austria-Hungary, the Germans, the French, the Ottomans, and Russians all united together. I don't think there's anyone in the world that can stop us. Even if, like I said... Italy, Spain, the UK, even with America, like they're they're really defeated at this point. So I don't think they could do too much against us. Just saying. So probably uh, siege guns will be done soon. Oh, maybe some more army support. Yeah, there we go. We get some better industrial support equipment, more liability, hopefully slightly more defense production costs. That's cool. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Armored frigatorinos, very nice, very nice. Oh, we wanted healthcare. That's right, healthcare, healthcare, quality healthcare, not garbage healthcare. Healthcare. Where's healthcare? War defense successful. Great. Population. There we go. Can we... Mm, I'm going to try to go with that one. I don't care what it costs. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. 40? The <laughs> centrists so hate it so much, it's minus 2.8%. Wow. And then we'll do Imperial Navy. The Imperial Navy has been reformed and properly established. Great. The centrists hate it so much, they're actually giving us votes. 54, I don't think we'll be able to get up here. Ah, I jumped too much ahead. to Try to get it. Darn it. Oh, there it goes. Unrest in the Caribbean Islands, no one cares. 54. Ah, uh, yeah, we might as well not even do this. Uh, we could try that one. There's 7.8%, 67 so, 67 and 7.8%. So, 6.67.8. Well, that was worthless. Pressure the lobbies, convince opposition leaders. Well, I'll be honest, man. Like, there's not much left of an opposition. We literally have 92% of the entire, you know, chamber here. So, it fails, whatever. Round two, I will force healthcare in. Screw it. We're gonna go there. Wait, I should just I should just went hold on. We lost some political power, but whatever. Can you actually go here? Can you just jump the, up there? Yeah, you probably can, actually. I wanna vote on that. Well maybe we should wait for that first then. Growth po policies. What what are the negative consequences of having more growth policies? And rest. Ooh, early Zeppelin's nice. Ooh, we got two techs on. Then we can pause for that if it's two techs. Mm, that's a little bit ahead of time. Maybe a little bit too ahead of time for us. Oh, Maxim Gun's nice. Yes. Gun him down. Gun him down. I don't care who it is you're gunning down. Just gun him down. Better uniforms. Nice. Very good. Very good. No one cares about the Windward Islands. I'll be honest. No one cares. Uh, police force. I tried. We got decent health care. Opposition returns. That's good. Ahoy! Worship's order from the French have arrived. Let's welcome the SMS Augusta and the SMS Victoria to our Navy. Cool. <sighs> Trying to get healthcare for the people is just... Difficult. Sounds like Bernie Sanders, but whatever. Oh, well, what happened here? Seems like there's less stuff here now. Anything there? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Alright. So then the next level, you lose even more PP. You get 10% more recruitable population. Or just not recruitable population, but monthly population. African trade partner request colonial... Uh, sure. Alright, and let's finish off this episode with... Are we still not considered major power? No, we're not. So finish this... Uh, focus your I guess, maybe the next episode. So let's do... Mauser Infantry Rifles. The Mauser company developed 
infantry rifle protest rust but i guess that'll end us here for right now if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below and i'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably finish up the campaign and have a good time fighting congress to pass healthcare reform thanks for watching have a great rest of your day